All right, now we're going to look at some terrain editing tools. So if we go up here to our toolbar, we'll grab our terrain sculpt mode button. And it looks like a little hillside with some arrows. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And when you click on that, you probably won't see much of a change except for this nice little doodad here. And that's our brush tool. So go to your window mode and hit terrain editing and you'll get your terrain editing window. And this has all your options for tool choices and uh, different commands you can do. So we'll go ahead and dock this over here in our side panel. And um, to explain our brush controls here, uh, radius will control our size of our brush. The opacity really isn't important in sculpt mode, it's more for texture painting. Uh, the hardness kind of controls the edge of the brush and what is affected, whether it's sharply affected or kind of fuzzy around the edges, I guess you could say. The value is how much we're going to move our terrain with each mouse click. So if we have it set at 1, it'll move it one unit up with each mouse click. And we have it set at higher, it's going to move a lot faster. So as a demonstration, we knock down our brush size here. And we'll set our value at 1 and our mouse button at add. And it adds a little bit at a time here. If, like, if we crank up the value to 10, then we get a lot more each click so you know you can play around with those settings and you know that it'll enable you to make hills and stuff as fast as slow as, as you want them all right now the um, different pull down menus here are going to give you options on what your clicking is going to do so add is going to add terrain height or add hills um, smooth is going to smooth your terrain from real sharp edges to um, a lot more nicely curving slopes and stuff that's easier to drive on. So like if we created a big fat hill right here, which is a little bit extreme, but um, you get the idea. And then we took our smooth tool, which is set to our middle mouse button, and drug around with our middle mouse. You'll see that it kind of smooths it out quite nicely and does a pretty drastic effect, but you play around with the settings a little bit and you end up with a nice smoothing tool. Now, our third option that's in our menu here is replace, and it will replace a height of terrain with a separate height of terrain. Let's use it like a level terrain tool. So we could level this hill out now by selecting with Control R, replace picking um, the terrain over here or somewhere where it's flat and that's set in our replace menu now and then we can right click and drag and it goes and replaces the terrain with whatever height we have set and effectively levels the terrain so we can also set it to a higher terrain level like let's say 90 set that at 90 let's just make it a nice round 90 and we hit replace with our right mouse click and we get a nice little plateau. Then we can smooth the edges with our smooth tool, and we've got a nice hill with a flat top. All kinds of you know different things you can use here to make you know different terrain shapes and roads and all kinds of you know anything's possible with these tools. And any of these options can be set with you know to any mouse button, whatever you like best. Um, so you can really make it, you know, your kind of customized own program. Just make it easier for you. Um, that pretty much covers your basic terrain sculpting. Um, there's another option here I forgot, subtract, and that just does the opposite of add, and that just takes away terrain or terrain height. So you can, you know, dig holes and such. And smooth still works the same way. It smooths the edges nicely. Um, and then you can reset to replace here and we'll just replace all this with nice level terrain so we've got level terrain to work with again all right so that pretty much covers the um, ter basic terrain sculpting tools and next we're going to look at uh, texture painting on our terrain